Sam Newman reporting for the 2007 Brownlow Medal. We thought we'd go and see what everyone is up to. Someone help me in this direction, please. Thank you. Gary Dempsey, former winner of the Brownlow. Only the very best of players win the Brownlow Medal. How come you won? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, as I said, only the very, very best win the Brownlow Medal. Now, what about the highlight of the night? Anything? Uh, the cleavages, I think. Um, they were out in force. Don't you worry about that. Um, Any uh, player's partner in particular? No, I thought Lance Whitnell's cleavage was probably the best, <laughs> to be honest. Now, tell us a little bit about Chris. He's a very quiet man, but he's, uh, he's a beautiful man. Everyone loves him, don't they? Yes, very intelligent, very witty. Sounds quiet. like myself, yeah. <laughs> quiet, but yeah, very, yeah, intellectual. Mm. Yes, yes, I know how he feels. It's, <laughs> it's pretty tough. Campbell Brown, one of the uh, man's men at Hawthorne. How are you, mate? I'm good, mate. I'm just standing here uh, listening to Tomo talk shit. I reckon he could sell sand to the Arabs, mate. Is that good? He could sell uh, eyebrows to Gary Lyon. <laughs> We've got Gary, I'll hop in the middle, we've got Gary Lyon, the guy with big eyebrows over here, and we've got Jim Steins, one of the all-time greats. Great to have you at the Brownlow Medal, Jim. It's great to be here, another Brownlow Medal. Brings back memories. Great memories. What about you? What about you, Gary? You didn't win one? Oh, don't worry about that. Okay, what else are we having, Jim? We have Chris Judd, the great mayor. He's coming to Hawthorne next year. Very excited. Uh, thanks for coming and joining us, babe. Yeah, obviously keen to break the news here. Was, um, <laughs> you know, a few people didn't ask me. I said, I want to save it for Croft after the ground level. We want to go. So, um, there we go. Now, what about Sam? He's not here tonight. You got a cheerio for him? Didn't want to come. Well, I'd love to, uh, yeah, I'd yeah, love to be here with Sam and give him a bit of a cuddle and probably a punch in the nose, but unfortunately we can't. Yeah. Now, uh, what about Sam Newman? He's not here tonight. Didn't want to come. No, why not? What was that? Oh, you got a cheerio for him? He's probably watching at home right now. No, I don't like him. <laughs> why don't you like him? He calls me Nathan. <laughs> Nathan? Nathan. Now, what about Sammy Newman? You give him a cheerio? He didn't come tonight. I didn't want to. He's a f**kwit. He's a what? F**kwit. Well, there you go, Sammy. All the best. Hope you've had a great night. We're having a ripper. Now, how long have you two been together? Um, oh, we've known each other for a year now. And what do you see in Big Cox? True it is not all true. What, what do you mean? The rumours are not all true. Uh, I don't know any rumours. Oh, you could at least get a right to say massive or something. <laughs> Who are you talking to? No, I'm just talking to you. Hello, darling. <laughs> Hello, Shane. Yeah, no, no, I'll pretend it's you. Hello, darling. Hello, it's Brett. I, I love you. I'm, I'm just having a few drinks with the guys. I love you. Um, uh, see you. See you tomorrow, dear. Mm. Now, your girlfriend's very excited about moving to Melbourne. She is. She um, is obviously embracing the uh, Melbourne concert culture. I think she's embracing uh, the vodka lime sodas as well. So um, <laughs> it's good to see. And yeah, what about tonight? Uh, oh, that's, oh, that's, that's why I'm leaving. You know, that's, yeah. that's part of the problem. You know, <laughs> it's not just him. There's a group of them that I'm trying to get away from. But he's leading the pack. What about Jimmy Bartel? Well, what was that? What? Well, it was a deserved winner, no doubt. What was on the night? Brownlow or something, was it? Hey, Jay Brown, been fantastic tonight. It's been a great night, and it's great to see uh, a deserving winner. Jimmy Bartow is fantastic. Down your way? He is down your way. I reckon he's, a, he's an old soul sort of football, so I was glad to win him. Unlike yourself, mate, who'd uh, rather spend his time at a gay spa than one of those man sexual sort of parlours. Well, Whatever makes you happy. At least Jimmy Bartel would spend the time milking the cows and, you know, doing all those sorts of things. Fencing, you know, all those sorts of things, mate. A bit like yourself. Yeah, which one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a great achievement to win a Grand Line medal, but hey, to be honest, you've got the highlight of all time. Being carried off on a stretcher, you can't get better than that. What about that, Jimmy? Oh! I think you'll be having fun now. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Yes.
Very, very fine job, Shane. Well done in standing in for Sam. Who was your three votes? Did you have the three votes on the night? Three votes. Yep. Uh, Brett Kirk was uh, very, yep. very good. Yep. Um, Chris Judd, I reckon he gets two. Yep. And um, Nathan. Oh, Nathan. Jimmy, Jimmy Clement will be very disappointed. I <laughs> okay. thought he was best on in the evening. Well,